Hi guys, I'd like to introduce our project E20 by Rotax, like a normal go-kart, only electrically driven. So to show you some of the components on the electric cart, obviously left and right, we have the battery packs. We have a really nice package that has a real good balance from the weight distribution that makes a very attractive package for the customers to drive. We come to my favorite part of the cart, the power plant. So this is the electric engine. This is what brings us all the power and speed. Obviously, you can see the back is very tidy. We don't have any sprockets, any chains. So it's really simple and easy for anybody to operate. You just plug and play. You charge the thing and you go on the track and have fun. On the center console, we have the display, which is not just like a normal lap timer. Lap timer. Inbuilt is the isolation monitoring system that warns us if we have a problem with the electrical system. Clearly displayed is red lights. When there's any kind of a fault that warns the driver of any any uh, danger to him and anybody around the cart if it's happening this is really important with an electric vehicle you have the safety lanyard which you plug in when you're in the cart your nice start stop button and then you can select drive reverse also which is a cool feature for a cart and you can see all the typical information that any driver sees from a typical micron for example lap time best lap, predicted lap, number of laps, and, and, and. So one of the most fun features on the Project E20 is the boost button. This is something that everybody comments on and really appreciates and enjoys. And it's a boost every 30 seconds for five seconds of yeah, a few kilowatts more that helps you down the street. Yeah, we're really performing well, depending on the track, we're somewhere between a senior max and a DD2 in lap time, but the straight line speed is really impressive. We get up to close to 140 kilometers an hour on some tracks, and it, it's really quick. It, obviously, we have the four-wheel braking, which helps stop the cart, especially with the increased mass of the cart and uh, with the battery weight. As you can see from the way the components are laid out on the cart, as we mentioned earlier, this really gives an attractive balance of the cart because the weight, weight distribution and the placement of the components has really been thought about from the start. This means that in any condition, wet or dry, we have quite a neutral balance on the cart, which makes it a very attractive package to drive. You know, you don't get too much understeer or too much oversteer. There's always a nice balance of grip all around the cart, whether that's wet or dry. Also, it's like a normal two-stroke cart in regards to what you can change on the cart with caster camber on the front, wheel bases on the back, and we really have a package that sits in a nice window that you can set the cart up for any condition. And everybody who drives the cart really appreciates this feeling from the cart. And also the tunability and drivability is very easy. It's very, very simple to, for anybody to participate with this cart and you don't need to be an expert to do so. I think this demonstrates that not only do we have parity in the product, but that it's very easy for anybody to come along be supported by us and be fast and have the chance to win the driver makes the difference with this package this is a this is something that we believe on in rotax we'll obviously train you in all the aspects of this how to do, how to do the charging how to do the mechanics on this in the pit and explain everything to anybody who's interested after that we have the first round of the dkm which is a four round championship this year that licensed drivers internationally can enter and participate in and there will be other test opportunities throughout the year we will also have some exciting news coming in the next months about further races that we will will announce and launch this year the question always gets asked of me why electric it's important that we have this option for the future we see this on a daily basis that there's more and more electric cars on the road we know that there's all the environmental issues and the social responsibility to have a greener future and we have to work towards developing this moving forward. Also, a lot of racetracks around the world are coming under extreme pressure due to noise or other environmental controls placed upon them. And Rotax really believes in that we need to have this as an option. It's not a replacement for the two-stroke. It's an option to help people still go racing who maybe the possibilities could disappear in the near future. At the end of the day, whether it's a two-stroke electric engine, four-stroke, it's all racing, it's all competition, it's all sport, and it's enjoyable. And this is the most important thing, is that we in ensure that this is a, as a hobby, as a sport, as a recreational product, or a race vehicle can be used anywhere in the world, regardless of the environmental controls.